the madman. It's an infestation. And living mana is my is a very strong five mana card too. Uh let's keep two five ten. Sure. Going Gloom Eater and uh, Living Mana, probably. Uh, nope, this one. I fight. Okay, so kind of this, right? And a dagger. Let's go with this one. I love it when my opponents decide to trade into my living mana. It's like, why? Why would you do that? Let's see, so on the next turn, I want to have six mana to play Ancient Harbinger, which means I need to lose three of these things. If this thing survives, then we have the turn 10 special. Opponent has two coins in hand. Oh, spell stone. It doesn't have much left. It's running out of fuel. Gaining Banshee. I think we're looking for a spell here. Wisps of the Old Gods. Let's see, I'm taking nine. We do. It's more like it. Time waits for no one. Gold 2 from my class. Be scared of the Banshee. Ooh, spooky. Ah, the great outdoors. We could have played that last turn, but I guess he was afraid of burning three cards. Could have played it last turn though. Could have played that card last turn too. He could have played both of those cards last turn. But have to use the coin. I think it would have possibly been correct. Possibly. Maybe fair, he doesn't know I have ultimate infestation though. Of 
and it's still trading. Like, I can still outvalue this. Another night on the prowl. <laughs> Maybe easier than expected. card is coin. Can your coin stand up against my cards? Someone your taunt minions that died this. Oh, sure, it seems fun. Mistress is good, Tar Creeper is good, Lesser Jasper Spellstone is okay. Do I keep an okay card? I'll keep it. Might be good use for the coin. Very reasonable use. Attack two two. This only works on the simple minded. Game plan's pretty simple. Try to keep it even until turn 10. Turn 4 pass. So I have the 5 drop. I think we go for a spell here. <laughs> I don't think I want another ultimate infestation though. Maybe I go for a big minion. Yeah, let's go spell. Big spell. Nourish. That's a pretty big spell. Ooh, ramp. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Pretty good for him. Impressive. Oh well, at least mine is still bigger. This is very tempting. Oh, we go, big guy. Oh no. 
whatever will I do? Now about a little bit of this. <laughs> My greetings. Spectacular. A game. So kind of you to join me. Hmm. So I definitely want to give this plus two health. What else do I want to give plus two health to? This thing getting plus one health is really good. Plus two health. Hmm. That thing already has two. Oh, but he's got the weapon. I do need to give this plus two health. Should I even trade? No! Yeah, it's the five, I've got the wrath. Got two poisonous guys. Not bad, Druid. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Not too shabby. Powering to kill that 3 1 probably wasn't essential. But. Oh, and then I didn't have to cast Tortolan Forger, I could have cast one of the fives instead. That's probably better. Hit, hit, hero power, potentially the play. Uh, no Raven Idols left in the deck. Only thing that hit is Crude Claw. This happens to work well with the curve. And the fatigue. Oh, good thing I didn't have living mana. Let's see, my deck has no big cards left. Primordial Drake is the biggest one. So I am, at this point, definitely needing to rush him down. that one way too fast. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna play that, but no, I don't really have the mana to support this play. <laughs> Probably ended up being right anyways, though. And, uh, give him a good hit with this card. Ooh. Third of the claw? One and eight. Primordial Drake? Also one and eight. And also a pretty good card. Alright, 
I think I will take it. I set him to two, he goes up to five, and then six, so I still don't have lethal on him, so I might as well hit this. I've still got some medium cards in my hand. This is my highest end now. Interesting. Made an 8-8 eight eight instead of a 10-10 to get an extra armor. Either of these minions threaten lethal. Okay, well, he also had a pretty good deck. Pretty good. Alright, Raven Idol and... Ooh, do I keep spreading plague? Obviously against Constructed Paladin you keep spreading plague. I'll keep it as a just-in-case. Because that card is really, really good. If I'm in terrible shape, and that could happen. Oh man, I need three, four, and five. Eh, spell, I guess. <laughs> I'm spreading plague though, so. Ooh. 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 Oh, tough call. Marco Lotus spreading plague is pretty good, but Jade Blossom, it's a good ramp, and it's a three drop. Expected that or anything. <laughs> For the wilds. Uh, let's hit this thing. That's a pretty big signal. Very happy I kept spreading click. That's a game winning decision. Value heals. Afraid to protect the scarabs. Does that even make any sense? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. No, because then the 4 5 can attack the 4 5. It's way better. It doesn't suck if that goes into here.
There's also the alternate idea. Why am I killing these things? Why don't I just go face? That's pretty good. Spotted. Now I learned to stop worrying and embrace the face. Alright, so I only kept spreading flint because that guy was a paladin. I uh, won't keep it against the other classes. But we'll keep ultimate infestation. I'm tempted, honestly. Yeah, I'll toss it. It's pretty close. I would have. If I were him, I probably would have hit the mistress of mixtures. But let's see why he didn't. It's because he's gonna play a three health min. It's he's gonna play a three cost minion with four health. I mean, that's the one situation where I can see myself not hitting mistress of mixtures. Take the wrath choice. This might stay. Other things I considered: hero power, Argent horse rider. Basically, you get to keep either wrath or horse rider in your hand, or give up board presence and go for the value and keep both in your hand. Time waits for no one. Gadgets and gazette always get. <laughs> At least he's forcing me to play off curve. Don't worry, love. The cavalry We could have coined the gastropod there. That would have been pretty good tempo. Uh, when I look back on it, I actually think that's a misplay, not coining out gastropod. I have the stars in my eyes of coining out infestation. No, maybe it's fine. My hand doesn't have any six, seven, eights, or nines. Starting to get messy. Plus two, plus two on that specific minion was really strong. I considered playing the Gloom Eater instead of the Root of the Claw, and that choice might cost me. I don't think things are going to get that bad over the next two turns, though. The dream is that he uses the 3-2 against the 1-2, and then he takes the general teaching of not trading when you have the better minion, and then hits my face with a 6-4. Uh, then I could do the trade in Volcanic Lumber. The ultimate dream is he does nothing, and I do the good attacks. Eh, spell. I'm behind. You can fix spells when you're behind, I believe. Claw. Claw's pretty decent. Is okay. The next turn, I'm pretty much playing whatever I top deck, and then the next turn, it's coin UI. Possible coin lumber is actually better. 
Because you do want to play the threats before. Yeah, it depends on how good the card I draw is. Uh, so I can spend a 4 mana turn. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. We can do Lester Jasper, Spellstone, Quinn Volcanic. It would mean I have to wait 2 turns before playing UI. But... Get a huge taunt. Seems good. Discount, discount. Turn 9, 7-7, seven, seven, gain 5 armor. Pretty bad minion. Pretty bad overall, one could say. Really good ultimate infestation target for him if he has it. Well, Jin is pretty good against Druid though. They tend to have big cards. He's out of stuff. Oh, deal seven damage. Unnecessary. The only question now is, is I'm gonna make it to 12 and no? Will I make it to 12 and no? Let's count our chickens before they hatch. We want to spell the deal with the 4 3. It's not the end of the world if I don't get one. Ah, uh, a good answer. Ah, that's a good one. And now I have 7 mana. I'll play Lotus Agents even though it's not the best tempo play. It's gonna be a 3 mana 6-6. Six, six. Sure. It's like, why am I thinking that hard? I have this in the bag. Suppose I should commend him for knowing where the place is. That's pretty good too. <laughs> Ancient Harbinger has been doing work. Oh, okay. Right, what if it? What if he had Savage War? Seven plus fourteen is twenty-one. Twenty-three damage. I kill one, that's only 20 damage. I would survive that. The shall come for no one. 18, 20 damage. This is one of those times where the insurance is better. If he has Savage Roar and he can remove the Drake, 
it's super unlikely that we're in such a dominating position we can play around the like one in ten thousand situations. That actually implies I shouldn't have played Edwin Van Cleef, I should have hero powered instead. No no no, this is fine. Never mind. It's good. Thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. I just want to trump trade my way to the end. Well played. Well played. You know, in the Dungeons and Dragons campaign, I named the Coastal Village. Uh, what was it? Bibbly Bobbly. Good gnome times, man. How many three drops do I have? Horse Rider, Dragon Slayer, Dragon Slayer, Basilisk, Creeper. Five. I keep Dragon Slayer in my hand. This is strange. It's the first time I've had to think about this. Eh, yeah, let's toss. This is a pretty close call. Arguably, General Megasaur and Shroom Brewer are both better also because they're four drops. And I don't have very many fours. I think it's too likely that Mistress just loses in the exchange, and we're two-thirds of the way to completing her quest for the spell stand. I'm gonna keep this around. I can actually kill that with just the spell stand, and alternatively play Megasaur, which has a bad exchange. That's a good card to spell stand. really hard to crack the spreading plague primordial drake thing. I guess we're just waiting to draw ultimate infestation. My greetings. Oh, got it. My greetings. Oh, now we just do random stuff for the next three turns. And then I cast Ultimate Infestation to win the game. Unless he also cast Ultimate Infestation. When I did the deck review, I said something along the lines of Ultimate Infestation will probably earn me like one or two wins. I think it's probably earned me three or three ish wins at this point. Games I wouldn't necessarily have won otherwise. But it is difficult to tell which games you wouldn't have won.
Okay. I think I was most afraid of plus three attack and poison. He didn't get either. Or he didn't choose either. One of the two. Oh, it's Coon time! And guess what'll be left as a 5-5? Five, five. Revive, my dear, 4-6. Yes. It's not as good as it could be, but it's pretty good. It's disgusting how many times I pulled this off. <laughs> The Ancient Harbinger, too. What a pick. Is you why? That'd only be fair, right? I think that's probably as many minions as I expect. He has the summon three treants card, but Meh. Bubbly value. Oh wow. Okay, that's pretty good. That was kind of like Bone Mare, actually. For six mana. I'm going to assume he doesn't have another buff. I think I want to play the Poisonous guy, play the Health Buffy guy, and then play the Forager. Now, and even better, if I do this, we don't even lose our guy. Now, I guess I should have played this first. That's a good one. I will purify the whole. I must safeguard the land. He actually missed out on the value. He could have cast it on this one and then gotten another six drop. Oh my god, it's a dragon! <laughs> Five, seven, eleven. Vengeance is mine. And here's the unlucky person who got matched up against the 11 0 player. We keep idle. Eh, probably better later if I had one drop. Ooh, ultimate infestation. <laughs> oh, same guy. Sorry for ending your arena run, buddy. My My he did not want to match up against me, I'm guessing. My I think minion. As we are not behind at the moment. And we are looking for card. Uh, we just want to stall until turn 10 or 9. Feels gloomy, man. I pick a 5-5 five five when I can pick an infinite 5. Shall we 
put a kink in their plans. Don't worry, Lux. The cavalry's here. Get in! I remember he had Starfall. I have played against a lot of Druids, so I don't quite remember. I don't think he had very many spells, but strangely enough, Basilisk might actually be safer than Gloom. I don't really know. It's pretty close. One of the decks out there had Starfall. <laughs> he forgot the hero power or something. The untilt. Uh, let's see. I want a hero power first. If it goes there, I wonder if I go there. I'd probably still go here though. Hmm. I know he didn't have a way to deal small amounts of damage, otherwise he would have killed this. I think we actually do go here. Oh wow. Didn't play that last turn? Oh dear. The punish. I knew I had a bunch of poisonous minions if something went horribly wrong there. Oh wait, but you can still hear a power and then just kill it with the phoenix. Whatever. We just have to survive until you die. And I have spreading plague in case something goes horribly wrong. Oh, I think he spent all of his mana. I need to remember I can't go coin coon ultimate infestation. Set it to the perfect health for UI. For nine is probably coin UI. So therefore. Tree of life, huh? Interesting. Time waits for no one. Hungry. This is a moonlight. To Northred. This guy's putting on the pressure on me. My hand is too full. Oh, Dragon Slayer. Well played. Well played. Oh, best uh, two out of three, Slarfang? this mage. We have a strong base, and we have ultimate infestation. Hello. The only question is, will I kill him by the time I get ultimate infestation? Don't worry, Lux. The cavalry is here. I think you'll all be very proud of this play. I mean, that beetle's gonna trade, so... And next turn I'm gonna do hero power plus gastropod. Might as well get that extra damage in. Omen getting back gastropod is pretty decent. Or druid of the claw. That's even better. 
You have a minion plus one plus one for each of your totems. Well, should I guess, even though we're trying to burn our cards by the time UI comes around. I don't think this is a UI on turn 10 game. Because Ultimate Infestation is not actually that strong the turn you cast it on. It's about the long lasting effects of the card. I'm either getting Drew to the Claw uh, or. Gastropod of this. Let me survive this turn. Well played. Well played. Good, not face, which means Pyro won't kill me. If he had such a thing. <laughs> Amazing, spectacular. Cast this before in case of counter spell. And I guess we might as well cast this here. This? Why not? Love and oh. Reeking last opponent had to ruin it. At least this guy didn't have fireball. Okay, well there it is. 12 wins so far in the play big competition. Now, the interesting thing is Unlike normal arena, you play until you get 3 losses, which means you can score higher than 12. So we're going to continue to get a higher score than 12 wins. So thank you PlayVig for sponsoring the video. Get it using the link below. Get some value while you're playing your favorite game. Wow. 
that pack. 